In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a stretch resolution with two computers where you have a gaming PC, an HDMI cable going from that gaming PC to your capture card, and your capture card connected to your streaming PC. I have another cable that's going from my gaming PC to my 144Hz monitor. So you have to do this exactly the way I show it or you're either not going to be able to change your resolution or you're not going to get 144Hz. So you can see here I have the NVIDIA control panel up and I'm setting up multiple displays. Before I do this, you need to, don't clone any displays, change the resolutions first, okay? So go into your main, this is my 144 hertz monitor and change resolution. Right here is where I would create the custom resolution if it didn't already exist, okay? My monitor already had it set up so I don't need to do this. I can go right ahead and, and clone the displays. You're going to take your main monitor, not the capture card, it's very important. So for me, that's the VG, that's monitor two, and you're going to clone it with the capture card. So I'm going to say clone with one. And apply that. So now I've got my displays duplicated. And now I can go change the resolution. You'll note that this is the HDMI output to my capture card. I can't touch this because it's a clone of this display. So here's where I already have my resolution defined. So I can choose 1600 by 1080, apply. It's gonna do that. And the final step, once it's done doing its thing, is to adjust desktop size. So for both the capture card and your main display, you're going to choose full screen here, okay? Full screen, full screen. And your resolution here and refresh rate. So what this will do is, if you didn't do this, you'd probably see black bars on the side of your monitor. This will scale that up to the main monitor resolution there. All right, so that's it. Now when I'm playing Fortnite, I have, um, I just do windowed full screen. I don't mess with the settings. If you want to do full screen, you can go into the config file. There's other YouTube videos on how to do that. I don't do it, I just do Windows full screen because it's easier. So now in OBS, the final piece you need to do is go to your settings. And Streamlabs is identical to this. So you can go settings, video, and I'm recording so I can't change this. You can't do this while you're streaming, okay? You have to stop your stream. You're going to change your base canvas resolution. I do 1280 by 720. This, if you don't put the right thing here, you will get black bars in Twitch. And I have another video where I should explain that. So make sure your output and base are both on 1280 by 720. And then when you create your device, this is my Elgato capture card. I'm going to right click on that, transform, stretch to screen. Okay. Now it's not really necessary. If you're on one PC doing this, then you don't really need to, then you need to worry more about setting your base canvas size. Because my capture card output was already scaled up to 1920 by 1200, I didn't even really need to worry too much about this in this setup. So that's it guys, I hope this helps you out. If it does, please leave me a like and hit the subscribe button.